Hey everybody, this is Jeff, and I'm going to give you a quick demo today of a project that I started um, very recently called Treehouse. Um, Treehouse is a note-taking front-end, uh, so it's, you know, everybody's making a note-taking app these days, and I'm going to make a note-taking app with this, but this being a front-end or bring your own back-end, it basically is a kind of like a starting point for you um, to build your own uh, uh, note-taking app or what eventually it's going to be is here's a bunch of components that you can build um, a lot of different kinds of applications um, with this. But for now, it's focusing on a uh, note-taking app, uh, and it's using web technology, so it can be deployed for um, not only the web but also mobile and, and desktop if you're using Electron or Aptron or something like that. Um, but one of the cool things about this project is just the, this approach of um, minimalism, right? You'll notice there's almost no there's almost no uh, uh, you know tons of config in the root um, or tooling files or whatever. Um, I'm trying to avoid using all the traditional uh, JavaScript stuff. Um, you know, there's basically no Node.js used in this. We're basically using Dino as the tool chain, um, and really a handful of dependencies, main one being Mithril, which is, uh, you know, a, a, a React-like component framework, um, but smaller than Preact and has an even simpler API um, and no dependencies. So uh, you can see that we're kind of working at our first release, um, which will be uh, still an early prototype release, um, some of the stuff that we've gotten done in the past couple of weeks. Um, but really quick, let me show you the demo, which is... Uh, there's a live demo that is based on the main branch. So there's this notice. It's based off the main branch. We're trying to use this, dog food it. And so um, we're fixing critical bugs as quickly as possible. But if you do find stuff, if you could uh, create an issue on GitHub, that would be really helpful. Um, and as I mentioned, this front end is made to be, you know, so that you could deploy it in a number of different ways or customize it and, and pair it with, you know, various kinds of back ends. This demo is using local storage, so it's um, all just going to be stored in the browser. Um, and basically, out of the box, you've got basic, um, like here's an outliner. You know, we can create an item and a sub item and so on. Um, you know, we've got all this kind of basic, um, uh, you can see that the menus are based on commands and the commands can have uh, bindings. Um, so there's kind of all this infrastructure more stuff here. There's a sort of a debug command that lets us generate a bunch of random uh, children here. Um, so we can kind of zoom in this kind of workflowy style, um, navigating uh, your outline. Um, we can also open in a new panel. We've got a panel system. You can kind of look at more things at once. Um, the navigation on the left is based on your top level items. Um, what else? We've got uh, full text search built in that out of the box is based on basically in memory um, full text search. Um, so that's you know pretty good. Um, but again, you can change that with your with your own backend. And we have these daily notes. So um, this is a note for today. And so that's kind of stored in this calendar like structure. And also if you use quick add to uh, add notes quickly through this interface or other interfaces, um, they'll just get appended to your today node. So that's kind of core functionality that's very similar to kind of the base stuff that you have somewhere between a Tana and a Workflowy. Um, this is the foundation that we're going to do a bunch of other uh, cool stuff uh, with. So again, talking about backends, what you can do is actually test out our experimental GitHub backend. Um, that'll actually let you use our live demo as an actual note-taking app the, the way we do. And what this does is you authenticate against GitHub, and it will create a repository called your GitHub username.treehouse.sh um, to store your notes in. And it's going to be a public repository. You can go to GitHub and make it private if you want. Um, but when you do that, um, you have kind of a persistent... Uh, 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 note workspace that you can access um, through our demo and so you can try this out or something like that if you want um, and basically what this looks like on github and this is all potentially going to change but um, basically is storing it as a JSON file in, in your repository um, I have some other files in here as well just for debugging and development um, but that's uh, basically it really quick I want to show some of the code 
Um, so when I talk about the back end, implementing a back end is just implementing this interface. Um, so you can implement a custom authentication system. Uh, you can do a custom search index and uh, file store, which is basically, um, for the most part, it's it's storing stuff as files. So for example, when we add markdown stuff, um, those markdown files would just show up as files in your GitHub repository. Um, but in our besides that, um, you know, if we want to look at just like how how this code is set up, right? We've got our entry point for the demo. We've got the setup function that takes you know our document and where we want to mount this thing. Um, and normally you'd give it a backend, but here because we support multiple backends, we have this kind of switch here. Um, and what setup does is it basically um, initializes the backend, sets up the workspace, and registers a bunch of commands. So like I said, this is based on um, uh, this is a command-based system uh, modeled after a lot of applications, but specifically uh, VS Code. So you have commands, um, is it all in this kind of action module that's kind of reusable, so you can register commands and key bindings and menus. Um, and uh, the UI, like I said, we'll show you real quick. Um, these are Mithril components, um, and they're using JSX, or because it's a TypeScript file, it's TSX, but um, they look like a bit of a mess because we haven't pulled the inline styles out into our style system. So we'll have this kind of like design system that will let you customize through CSS variables. Um, and uh, you'll see that there's not a lot of components. Um, we're kind of focusing on like big, you know, bigger components than just like buttons and stuff like that. Um, but these components will then be extensible to customize them. Um, in various ways. Again, this is a very kind of trying to be a developer-friendly uh, system. Whether you're using it, uh, the source code, or you know, if we build a product or whatever, is still very customizable, extensible, uh, developer-friendly. Um, but that's basically uh, it for now. Like I said, we this is a pretty brand new project, um, and so it's you know pretty much just the basics, but I'm pretty excited if you, like I mentioned, Tana and Notion are inspirations, and you can imagine kind of the directions that we can go um, uh, that we'll have here soon. So coming soon, obviously, I mentioned uh, the design system. Uh, I also mentioned Markdown editors to be able to do Markdown stuff, um, but lots more. So hopefully follow the project. Um, if you want, um, it would be really helpful if you could star the project on GitHub. That'd be really helpful. And try out the demo, um, potentially even try and use it and give us feedback. Um, you can just uh, submit issues on our GitHub. But that's it. Thanks for watching.